this influencer is unreal and she can still sell your product. In this video, I'll show you how to make AI UGC ads that looks Guys, just this like this. Probably the best banana I've ever tasted, and trust me, I know bananas. Yerba Mate is getting a lot of props right now, and for good reasons. Here are some do's and don'ts to get the most out of your Yerba Mate. You'll learn how to generate an image with your influencer, place the product in their hands, and use lip sync to bring the scenes to life. For e-commerce brands, this workflow saves weeks of waiting, endless back and forth with influencers, and hundreds of dollars per video. And by the end, you'll have a repeatable UGC system inside design where you can swap faces, outfits, and hooks with just prompts and generate customized UGC content on demand. Let's dive in. UGC stands for User Generated Content. You can use this type of content for ads or even on TikTok shop where you can earn up to hundreds or thousands of dollars per day. First, let's grab some inspiration on TikTok. Just filter by your keywords and niche and pay close attention to what creators say or do in the first few seconds. Next, we'll use the script prompt I prepare for AI. Adjust the prompt to your product and insert your own hook or something you saw that works in here. You can drop it into ChatGPT or any other LLM. And then the AI will generate draft scripts that you can tweak until it matches the style you want. Once we're happy with the final script, we'll use it for the next step. The voice is what separates believable UGC from obvious AI. It's often the first giveaway that kills trust and conversions. The voice definitely need to sound natural and conversational, like a friend recommending something, not a sales pitch read by robot. That's why I use 11 Labs because you can create custom voices that match your exact audience. Instead of picking from their library, I wanted to design a voice myself. To create your own custom voice, you only need their $5 monthly plan, or you can use a voice in the library. First, let's go to the voice section, hit the plus sign or the create voice button, click voice design, and then we paste in our prompt. And this is the prompt that I use. We can also adjust more setting down here and then we generate. Then we'll get multiple options to choose from. Let's listen and see what we get. So I just had to share this with you all. <laughs> I finally tried that new coffee shop downtown and oh my gosh, it's amazing. Seriously, you have to check it out. Hey everyone. So I had to share this with you. Finally tried that new coffee shop downtown and oh my gosh, it's amazing. So I just had to share this with you all. I finally tried that new coffee shop downtown and oh my gosh, it's amazing. Aren't they amazing? I'm so surprised how real they sound. It really sounds like a Gen Z TikTok influencer talking to you. Select the voice you prefer, fill in the name and the details and save the voice. Once you have your voice, let's go to text to speech, select the voice that we just generated and then we paste our script here and generate. Then we can listen to the generated voice. If you're not on creatine yet, you're honestly missing out. If you're not on creatine yet, you're honestly missing out. Now we'll download the file we prefer for the next step. Now we're getting into the visual part. I'll start by generating an influencer using the text to image tool on design. The influencer's look is also very important. It needs to feel realistic and also relatable to pass as authentic UGC content. If it looks too polished or AI generated, people won't trust it. After testing multiple different models, I found that these size realistic models actually works best for that homemade and non-studio look that we're looking for. Other than selecting the model, the key is also to include specific details about imperfections in your prompt like this one. In my prompt, I included things like her skin has a hyper-realistic texture, showcasing subtle imperfections like light pores, and slight unevenness with a uh, natural shine. That's what prevents the uncanny valley effect often generated by perfection. You want realistic results and not perfect. You can also customize the influencer's demographic and overall look to match your target audience. And I made sure to prompt for an ordinary background, something simple and natural. You don't want a polished studio setting. That way, the result feels casual and authentic, just like real user-generated content. We can select the prompt improver, uh, select the proper aspect ratio. Since we are doing TikTok, then it would be 9 by 16. And also, if you have an influencer, you really want your influencer to be a certain face, we can also use the face match feature to input the face. 
so that the generated result will match the face. And then we'll do non-explicit unless you want to generate not safe for work content. And for generation mode, I always select like high quality for best result. And then we'll click generate to generate the result. The influencers we generate here are pretty natural, I would say, and realistic to me. You can see the unevenness and the skin texture that is trying to mimic human imperfection. Compared with the images I generated from other models, I do really think the design realistic is the best model to generate this. Next, we will need to put the product that I have in her hands. And I already generated this product image. I believe if you have your own product, you already have the image. And in design, there are two ways to do this. One way is using the instant storyboard. This lets you combine different elements into the same image. You'll just have to upload both the influencer image and the product image. And then in your prompt, reference them with the ad tag. So in general, add image one, when you type in the ad, the image will jump out and then you can just click to load it in or you can just click on image one and it will get put in the prompt. So in this case, image one would be referring to the influencer or that image and image two would be the product. So for example, you can write something like image one is holding image two in the same setting and background something simple like this and the ai should be able to understand i have prepared a more detailed prompt here and then we just have to put in the ad tag for the ai to know what we are referring to once that sets we can choose the highest output quality and set the aspect ratio to 9 by 16 which is the vertical short form content format and here's the result i think this one came out perfect another thing we can do here is using the chat editor feature so first we click on the influencer's image and then click chat editor. The influencer image will be loaded and then we'll just have to add the product image using the plus sign on the right to also input the product image. And here's where it gets exciting. These I now have added the Gemini 2.5 flash model also codenamed Nano Banana, which is Google's latest AI model that's been called the best image editing models available. Well, at least for now. With Gemini 2.5 Flash, you can combine different elements into the same scene with much more precision. So let's try it. And of course, you can use other models to compare if you want. So in the text prompt area, just type in your usual description, then specify things like the woman in image one is holding the product in image two. This way, the models can know exactly which re reference images to use. From there, add any extra details you want to refine the style and realism. Let's generate and see what we get. And here's the result. I think the result looks realistic and usable. Overall, the accuracy is really great. Now let's compare this with Flux Context that I generated here. Which one do you prefer? And if the hands looks unnatural, we can use design hand repair tool to fix them before moving to lip sync. So either way, both methods produce a convincing image of your influencer holding the product and ready to be animated for your UGC ad. Once we have the image of our influencer holding the product, so the next step is to animate it so the influencer can talk. To do this, we click open the lip sync panel. And while we are at the lip sync tool, you, we can upload a face image or a face video. For this one, we'll start with the image. Design gives you two options, the normal lip sync model or a pro lip sync, which has better movement and clarity. After uploading, you'll see the system will detect the face automatically and it has a box that marks the face. But if it doesn't, you can also manually mark the face with this button. You can select up to two characters at the same time to lip sync. So if you, if you have multiple characters in your image, you get to select which character to talk. But in our case, we'll just have one character for this one. Next step, we get to crop the frame and set the aspect ratio. And adjust the zoom and reposition the image. And in our character's timeline, we can pick a voice for the character to speak. For the voice, you have two options. We can use text to speech by typing the script and select a preset voice here. We can even choose different language, adjust the speed, and then generate the audio directly on design. For this project, I'll use the voice I generated earlier in 11 labs for more natural delivery. Once uploaded, the audio will appear on the timeline. And here's a quick tip. I would suggest to leave a small buffer at the start 
and end of the tracks, so the lip sync has time to form the first and last mouth shapes naturally since I always want to go back to the baseline of your image. We can also trim or adjust the audio length by dragging the end. And on the empty audio space, we can even add extra audio track if needed, just like how we add them before. When everything looks good, just click Generate and Design will create the lip sync video. And here's the result. If you're not on creatine yet, you're honestly missing out. I was grinding in the gym every day and still felt stuck. No real progress, always tired. Then I tried Design Creatine Premium and Total Game Changer. The result looks pretty natural, but since we're starting from a still image, the movement is a little bit limited. To me, for longer videos, it's better to use the video input for lip sync. That way you can get more variety in terms of movement and dynamic gestures. Another thing to consider is also how the product is introduced. So I don't want the product to appear in the very first frame because it can feel too much like an ad. And then we'll reveal the product midway through the video. Let's just try that. To do this, we'll create two frames. One of the girl pointing at the camera as the start frame and one of her holding the product as the end frame. We can generate that first frame using an image model like Flux Context or the Gemini 2.5 Flash using the chat editor. Just by prompting naturally, such as remove the product and point her hand to the camera. And here is the result. And then in AI video, we'll select the Clean 2.1 Pro model, which now supports start and end frames. And the AI will link the first frame to the last one together into a cohesive video. For the start, we'll load the pointing image. And for the end, we will input the product holding image. In the text prompt, I'll describe a young woman talking directly to the camera with natural expressive hand gestures for a while. And then midway, she holds and display a supplement bottle clearly to the lens, explaining its benefits in a friendly conversational way. From there, we can adjust the imaginary slider to balance relevancy and creativity. We don't really need sound effect here. And then we will set the duration to 10 seconds so we can allow enough speaking time. And then click generate. And here's the result. I think this video turned out really well. It's a solid base we can now animate with lip sync. To do that, we can click lip sync under the video. Then the video will be loaded and we can select the face like before. Then we will get the, the timeline interface. And then import our voice track. You can trim it depending on how much you want to sync. I uploaded the full track and wanted to edit it afterward. But if you plan the timing in advance, you can save credits by only generating the part that you want. In the timeline, you can play the video to line it up with the audio. And we can shift the track on the timeline to match the movements. If the audio runs longer than the video, for example, if you have like 15 seconds of audio on a 10 second clip, the video will loop the 5 seconds in the end. Once it's aligned, just click generate to produce the final lip sync video. If you're not on creatine yet, you're honestly missing out. I was grinding in the gym every day and still felt stuck. No real progress, always tired. Then I tried Design Creatine Premium and Total Game Changer. I think the result looks really natural. And the cool thing is with Gemini 2.5 Flash, you can also generate the same character in different scenarios, like uh, working out in the gym or drinking water with the product on the table. This makes it easy to create lots of B-roll clips with your characters consistently and also the elements that you want to put. You can then animate those images the same way using AI videos and then layer them over your main talking video as B-rolls. So for editing, I use CapCut. I place the base talking videos on the timeline like this and then added the B-roll clips over it to cover transitions or the weird parts that you want to cover. Sometimes it does happen with lip sync. I also generated captions since short form content usually performed better with text on screen. And for TikTok style videos, adding something simple like a POV caption at the start is a great way to hook attention too. With just a few AI tools, you can now create convincing UGC ads quickly, easily, and affordably. And here's the final result. If you're not on creatine yet, you're honestly missing out. I was grinding in the gym every day and still felt stuck. Then I tried Design Creatine Premium and Total Game Changer. 
I've got way more energy, I recover faster, and I'm not dragging through my workouts anymore. It's literally like having a cheat code for gains. Once you use it, you can't imagine training without it. Don't wait around and waste more sessions. You'll thank yourself later. Grab yours now. I'll drop the link below. Now you know what it takes to make a custom UGC ad like this with AI. Try yourself with the link below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.